Hey guys! We're here today to check out the latest from Rotting Christ. They released a brand new song, brand new video to celebrate the North American tour, Devastation of the Nation, that's already underway. We're gonna catch them in Toronto on May 3rd. The name of the song is Holy Mountain, featuring Lars Nedlin, who's also on the tour with a Brock Knacker. I, I, I don't. What you guys? I, I don't want to fucking say the wrong word here. Yeah, 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 I'm this close of being canceled and called a racist, so I, I fucking don't want to do it. You guys know who he is. You know where he plays. You you know you know what's going on. Exactly. He's also in White Void. That one is easy. That one is safe. That one is safe. All right. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I, I'm thinking they're gonna play this during the concert because it's a, it's a brand, brand new, new song, track. Yeah. yeah, brand new track. So ready? I'm ready. Let's fucking go. That Rotting Christ sound.
All right, you're you're the resident uh, Rotting Christ connoisseur, so I'm gonna let you go first and 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 give me your take on this track. Ooh, that was enjoyable. That was some. I really hope they do it live. Hold uh, on, sorry, because both of them are there, right? So like, it would be kind of nice for Lars to come out and yeah, do the yeah. song with them on stage. It would be such a nice treat. But anyways, go ahead. It would be a nice treat, and you know. Yeah, whatever. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'll be there in spirit. Yes. You know, your animal spirit will be there. Um, oh, that's this is a good track, man. This is a really good track. Uh, I mean, the whole atmosphere of the song. You know, amazing vocals in the chorus. Obviously, it's gonna repeat. The chorus repeats itself over and over. But it, I feel like the lyrics in the chorus for for uh, are kind of like. I don't, I don't know the the vocals in the chorus are kind of like a, just another instrument adding more atmosphere mm -hmm. to the song to the okay. point where like the lyrics of the chorus doesn't really you know it, it, it's you know mountain like it's just repeating. No, it almost feels more like a prayer it feels more like a prayer yeah it, prayers tend to be also very repetitive in, in nature yeah so it yeah like so a, it doesn't feel like you're gonna gravitate like a shaman yeah you're not gonna some... gravitate towards the lyrics in the chorus at least uh you're not really gonna like clench to them. No, I, th I, I think feel like you're 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 gonna actually more kind of see them as kind of like an instrument. And, 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 and I like think, I said, adding that. In I think they also have a different kind of impact as well. But I'll mention that when I when I get my turn. Go ahead, sir. Um, but yeah, dude. I mean, the song very very big. I like the the scenery of the song uh, of the of the video. Uh, and it's it's some rotten Christ, man. I mean, you can tell with the with the guitars. Exactly. Like I know. All I need is one ten ten ten, and I already know I'm listening to Rotting Christ. It's such they have such a unique sound. The tuning on the guitars is it's so theirs that they could pretty much just fucking copyright that shit and it belongs to them. Exactly. The moment well, they don't have to because no one else can do it. That is true too. When the song starts and you have those clean vocals. You don't feel like you're listening to Rotting Christ at that time, but then when you when the guitar then, kicks in, I even said that when the guitar kicks in, dun, 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 I was like, "Fuck!" I, I don't need to see what's written there. I know it's Rotting Christ. Nobody exactly. plays the guitar like that. Nobody has that sound. No but then it makes you band. think it's like, "Oh, these vocals." Obviously, it's not like a, a Rotting Christ type. Uh... Okay, so I feel like this is a more open song than what we normally get from Just Rotting, Rotting Christ. Christ. Yeah, exactly. R Rotting Christ songs, in my opinion, at least, they feel a little boxed in. They feel like the the whole, not the world is crumbling down on you, but you feel like you're you're the the darkness around you is in, encroaching yeah, but, on you. But the song's still feeling big. No, the song feels big, but it just feels like everything is coming coming down on you. You this feel one like feels like it's opening up. This one feels like it's opening up, and and I, and I think it's for two reasons. W one of the reasons is definitely the vocals. The yeah. vocals help the song open up. Yeah. Because the vocals are so clean, so melodic, so crisp. It's almost like that 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 winter mist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when it's not raining, it's not snowing, but there's that morning mist. You know what I mean? So it has that that feel after a, a snow day. The next day, there's that kind of mist. Uh, it ha the vocals have that feel. So I really see the vocals in this song opening up the track. They make the they they you almost open up your chest when you, when you're listening to this song it has a different vibe when i listen to rotting christ i tend to kind of crumble in with the experience that the song is giving me it has this somber dark experience. it still feels big but it has this somber dark heaviness experience that 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 you crumble within yourself this song in a huge part because of the vocals has that opening up feel then the way the song stretches out, the way the, the way the guitar sound is coming through is Rotting Christ, without a doubt. Yeah. But it's also not as... It doesn't have that feeling of bringing you in. It has the feeling of stretching you well, out. Well, it's hard to have that feel of bringing you in when everything... Are, like, the whole atmosphere of the song, and the, without it, the vocals, they stay... It's, it's a very... Uh, it's a very open track. It's very open. It lets the air in. And, and when you're looking at... When you listen to the song, you're looking at the video, and the scenery is as beautiful as as, as it is as open as it is, everything kind of plays into it. Yeah. It, it, it's a song that, the interesting part about this song is that it still sounds like Rotting Christ, but the atmosphere and the emotion and the sensation that you get listening from it is very different from what you normally get from a Rotting Christ song. It has a more open feel to it. it, it uh, if, if, if their traditional material has a darkness, this one has light. This one has a lot more light. It still is Rotting Christ, that guitar sound is still there. Everything is there. 
but it does feel different. It feels like a more open, um, uh, a more uh, uh, free, almost atmospheric style track. I always feel like Running Christ, even the songs that are more atmospheric, th that atmosphere feels dense. It, it, it feels like you could cut it with a knife. Not this song. This song is just like really wide open. It's an open track. Yeah. So it's a different, it gives you a different emotion. It gives you a different sensation from their traditional material, but, but it still it has, has their DNA it's in all it. It's the DNA in there, yeah. So it, it's just, it's a different look from Running Christ. And obviously the vocals play a huge role in that. The way the sound comes across as well, the sound, even on the guitar, it spreads out a lot more. And then obviously those clean and even vocals. And even the harsh vocals, effect, the harsh vocals don't really... Uh, have they were this, more spread out too. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't have the same effect they do in their in their other songs. They, they were not as, as compacted in. Exactly. They, they were, were not more, as compacted in. Like you said, more spread out. Yeah, so it's it's an interesting track from that perspective, but uh, a, a track that uh, it's still beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful track. It's dude. still beautiful. I mean, it, it may not have. have I'm not, and also, you know, I was saying how like simple the, no, the lyrics. It's, holy it's so memorable. Yeah, it's, it's very simple the lyrics and the chorus. Yet they're gonna be stuck in my head. Yeah, it's. I was singing along after the second time around. It's so simple, but it's so beautiful. Uh, it, it's a really well put together track. It's a different track. Um, but you have to look at the moving parts that came in into this song. So you have to make the song work for everybody. Yeah. So it's it's a different side of, of Rotting Christ, if you will, but still Rotting Christ nevertheless yeah, and a beautiful a, song. So a beautiful, beautiful song. And I really hope they do this. I, I, I don't know. I haven't checked the set list online I mean, to see it, what it is, but if all the pieces are there it kinda it almost it almost all calls the stars for are it. aligning, yeah. Yeah, it almost calls for it. This is kind of like a middle of a set kind of song. When you need a song that that allows you to kind of like take your breath in a little bit, like before heavier stuff comes, more demanding sound comes afterwards. This track in the middle of a set list would be absolutely perfect in order to kind of break the the routines, break the flow, allow you to kind of feel like you're you're on top of that mountain, yeah, and you're bringing that that fresh air, that clean air before things get a lot more darker and a it lot does, more dirtier. You, it does. The song does make you kind of like because usually their stuff is very like you said in there very I heavy easy sometimes yeah but this song it, it gives you that sense of relaxation <sighs> on yeah. top of a mountain you know? with your arms wide open exactly breathing that clean air you know what I mean like you're on top of the world so and the video is beautifully done because the video really represents the emotion and the feeling and the mood that the song and has the atmosphere so. you get from and the song. 100% 100% uh, one thing I didn't ask you I know you, we mentioned the clean vocals but what do you think about um, about Lars's vocals because I know you're not very familiar with either one of his bands. We've done uh, Brock Nagar on the channel, I think, once or twice. I don't think we've ever done White Void. I reviewed an album. I actually interviewed him on the channel. But I don't think you're that you're that uh, well-versed in either band. So what did you think about his voice? It's, it's amazing. Yeah, I like, I like the tone. The, tone the is, tonality of his the voice. The tonality is really, really good. Yeah. He says a lot without having to say a lot. Exactly. That, exactly. That's kind of how it comes across. And when I listen to him, I just the, the thing that always I always gravitated to is the tone in his voice, the way he, the way he pronounces the words, the way he ex, the way he stretches them out, the way he contracts them, the way he well, uses well, his voice as an instrument. I mean, like he said earlier, yeah, I mean, stretches them out is exactly what he does in this one. I, I think you nailed it at the beginning. It's an instrument. It's it really instrument. is. It, it really, really is. is. He could literally be saying absolute like nothingness, and I still would have been like. He was saying mountain, holy mountain. That's pretty much all he was saying. But exactly. But fuck, it's still fucking memorable. Exactly, because the way he uses his voice. Yeah. I mean, it, it really is. Like I said, it was. It really is an instrument. It's an instrument that that heals the song. It heals the listener too. I agree. I agree, and I like the fact that they were able to balance out. Uh, the harsh vocals, the harsher vocals of Saki's with with the clean vocals, and yeah, the vocal. yeah. it, it creates, it really creates this more dynamic feel to the song because musically the song feels a lot more linear. It moves in a more linear format, but vocally this really gives the song a little bit of an ebb and flow. It gives a little bit of of movement. It gives a little bit of life. So I, I really enjoy the the vocal dynamic on this track. All right, anything else you want to add? No, I think we. I think we covered everything. We covered so, everything, yeah. Anyways, Rotting Christ, they're on tour right now in North American Devastation of the Nation tour kicked off on the West Coast, but they're making their way to the East Coast. I know they're going to be in Toronto on May 3rd, so if you live in the nearby area, Toronto, or any of their shows, don't miss it. It's a packed lineup. This is pretty much like a one-day festival in a tour format. 
That's pretty much what it is. Because if you look at the names of the bands, if you look at all the bands that are playing, that's almost what you would get on a one day off, like a one day festival. So you're getting that, but on a tour, I don't think anybody should miss. The merch looks sick. I'm definitely gonna get one of those Devastation of the Nation uh, t-shirts with all the bands on the back. Because like I said, it makes me feel like I went to a fucking festival, even though yeah. I didn't. So check it out, don't miss it. Hitting a city near you. All right, we'll see you guys at the next video. Take care. See ya.